What's good, everyone? It's the uh, official, unofficial 404 day, and what a better day to bring this thing out, especially because I posted this story on my Instagram the other day. And I got a couple questions asking if that was all made on the SP404, and it was using the resample method. So I wanna show you how I make some house tracks on this thing. Yeah, let's go make a beat. All right, all right. Let's crank this track out. So I got these samples here. Uh, right. You know what? I'll show you basically what I do from the beginning. So let me put this one here. And I'll delete those two. So this is the original sample. I have my kick, my clap, and my hi-hat, and the original sample. And that's really it. I could add some more stuff if I wanted, like really embellish on the track, but I think that's enough to make a solid dance track. Um, so the first thing I need to do, since this is unquantized, I could use the sequencer, but I kind of like the natural feel that the resampling method gets me. So I'm going to take this kick and essentially all I'm going to do is resample it here, but give myself enough time, which is basically like the tempo. So I'm going to go boom, boom. So now technically this should, if I loop it, be enough to be the tempo that I want. It's too fast. So, again, resample that. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more time. So resample here, record, boom, boom. Now it's too slow, but I can then edit the end point. Too fast. Too fast. That's cool right there, cool. Done. I'll delete that or truncate it. And I have this kick and I also have this kick. So I'm just going to delete the original kick. And uh, just for the sake of being tidy, and move the kick back here. All right, let's start building our track. Record this. It's literally just gonna be this. Cool, so I just recorded four kicks, but I gave myself a little bit of the tail of the last one. And that's so I can basically say on this loop, you hear that? I can say reverse it, turn loop off. That's the part I want to cut off. And basically right before that should technically be a perfect loop. So end point, I could just turn this until I don't hear it. So six, seven, I hear it. Eight, uh, I do nine. And I usually give myself basically two. So now, oh my God, loop. You can hear it's a little slow. Let's try 11. Nailed it. So now we have the four, right? So now I can say done, truncate that. And now I'm gonna resample that here, but with a hi-hat, which I think is here. So resample here, record. Same thing, reverse. And I'm not going to be uh, too nitpicky with this just for the sake of time. I could be here all day doing this. So we have, oops, and then we have this part, right? So resample here. Now I'm going to add the clap. Oh man, delete. This didn't have a loop on. Cool. So resample here. There. So again, cool, that'll work. Done, loop. Now for our sampling part, this. I'm gonna go into um, the pitch, which is 21. Ooh, that sounds beautiful. I'm gonna leave it right there. Resample that here. Cool. So then I'm gonna take this again. Put that here, record. And then again. Cool, I can just leave it there. So I'm just going to exchange this pad to here. 
in. Ooh, this needs to be fixed. Ooh. Cool, that'll do it. Uh, truncate that. So this is where it gets kind of tricky because I'm like running out of space, right? So I have the main, which is just the kick, which is technically just that. So I guess I could delete this part. I'll keep the main part here, exchange that, put that there. So now I have nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. So now I'm gonna use the subsonic. I'm not sure if you guys ever use this, but this thing is badass. Basically it has a threshold for when the sound gets produced. Oh, I didn't turn it on for this, my bad. So I, I turned the threshold all the way down and basically that's going to always create the sine wave. And if I put the balance at 50-50, I can hear a bass tone that goes well with this part of the sample. So watch this. That's one right there. So then I turn the balance all the way up, hit record. I'll resample that here. Done. Turn gate on for that. Turn that off. Go here, turn it on. Again, resample that onto here. Done. Turn that off. What's this? I'll move that over. Cool. Done. Resample that into here. Done. Ooh, ugly. Gate. Gate. So then. Dope. So, um, I'm gonna just say F it to this thing. I'm not trying to make a full track. Come on, I'm not trying to hold you here all day. Resample this, it's gonna be this part. And with this, when you're resampling, you can only hit two pads at once. So uh, I'm gonna focus on the keys first. So let's do this. Oh my God. So you see, I was, I messed up. Basically I hit two pat, three pads. I went like this, but a little too soon. So resample here. I'll let it play for, I'll let it play for a bar. Cool. So I have that and then I can, Mark the beginning. Let's see. Oh, wrong one. One, two, three. Dope. Cool. So I'll just go ahead and truncate that. Easy. That was simple. Uh, let me figure out a baseline first. All right, that'll work, but the bass is way too loud. So I'm gonna go to level 60, uh, level 60. Ooh, that is dope. Let's do that. Resample. Um. Cool. Caught that. You hear that little last? That's 
finding that last little bit. There it is. So. Hmm. Yes. Peaceably a loop. Yep, there it is. Okay, let's see if there's anything else I got on here. That'll be cool. Let's uh, copy that over. Oh, this is full. Uh, cancel that copy. Easy there, buddy. Oh, man. What do I get rid of? I'll exchange it with one of the baselines. So exchange this with this. Damn, then what do I do? I'll just delete that one. Man, okay. Okay, so that part's a little weird. I want it to just be not double. Actually, I just want the last part. Cool, that'll be good. Delete, truncate, one little reverb on there. Whoa! Bro, pump the brakes. Cool, resample that to here. Cool, this, delete that. Sometimes I move too quick on this thing and I like accidentally delete my entire song so hopefully I'm not doing that yet again too loud done okay so because this doesn't have velocity I'm gonna resample this again here uh, record and then just turn the volume down to this one Sample here. Cool. Get that last part out. Maybe seventeen. Yep. Loop. Okay, little, little jacked up. What was that, 17? Oh, that's too fast. Let's try 14. Good enough. But, damn, that's really it. There are some of these. crazy get that lo-fi bro there it is lo-fi for life let's do it <laughs> okay all right maybe not that intense but the compressor on here is kind of crazy I'll dial in my secret settings without showing you guys Ah, huh. yes. Ooh, let's do the vinyl sim. Nah, I need that compressor. Damn, well that's really it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, 
greatly appreciate that thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down and let me know how i can make these videos better for you to enjoy but with all that out of the way happy 404 day congratulations to roland for actually finally looking at the community and giving it some recognition shout out to db Asi for getting me onto this thing he's running the whole super card party really dope out here on the west coast um but yeah i'll see y'all next week you already know the drill share the love share the knowledge knowledge is power peace